Hello guys, it's Lindsay. I am here with an unboxing video today. If you're new here, I do sell part-time on Poshmark and also The Real Real. I love sourcing my inventory through Mystery Unboxings from companies like ThreadUp, Goodwill Blue Box, and America's Thrift Supply. I do have a ThreadUp unboxing today. Um, some of you may be surprised to be seeing this box because I've mentioned before that I wasn't gonna order it again, but it was available and I just thought I would give it a whirl since it's been a while. Um, I post my videos every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. This is a name brand handbag box. Um, I have been getting the purse box from America's Thrift Supply um, the last couple times and in general I've sold you know a few handbags and I have a kind of some room in that area to add some more inventory so I thought I would go ahead and give this one a try again. I ordered it back on October 24th. This box runs $120 plus tax. You get four purses and one accessory. Um, the box feels really light. So I'm not sure what we might be finding in here, but it's always exciting to look. Um, the purse boxes I've gotten from ThreadUp in the past have been not in the best condition in terms of cleanliness, but I have been able to um, move a lot of them. So I thought I'd give it another try. It looks like we have some smaller size handbags in here. So here's a first peek. I'm seeing some Coach and some Kate Spade. Um, this is our accessory here. It is a Coach compact wallet, um, canvas, and then it has the brown leather trim. And um, it appears to be in nice condition. The snap uh, works good. And um, it's got a leather lining in there. So, I mean, this seems like a nice wallet. I would be surprised if this was a factory one. Um, it seems, you know, like a really, really good quality to it. So I don't think this is bad at all. Um, it's a great size and it does have the keychain here. So I think that looks pretty good. If you see anything in this box that you're interested in, um, most likely I will not have it listed on Poshmark yet. So if you want to send me an email um, and let me know, we can talk about a price and work something out off platform. Um, I am still pretty behind on my listing, but I am trying to get caught up. I am banning myself from buying anything on Whatnot um, for a while, so I am going to work through the boxes that I have and stop bringing in so much more inventory. So um, we have a Kate Spade here. This is a black pebbled leather crossbody, and it's a small size. There's some kind of fraying or something there. Um, I don't think that's anything too major. I'll have to look into it and trim that up. The interior, there's some stains, but nothing crazy in there. And it does have a front zip pocket as well. And both of the zippers function nicely. And the strap does not remove, but it's adjustable. And I think things look pretty good on the strap. So really just some fraying along here on both sides. But um, overall, it looks good. Um, it does have the closed spade. So I believe that's a regular and not a factory. Um, there's some, a little bit of corner wear, but it's not super noticeable since it's all black. So that's not horrible. Um, the Kate Spade handbags don't tend to move that quickly for me. Um, this looks like the exact same purse in a larger size, and it's brown. This one has a nice brown interior. And the in 
inside of that one looks pretty good too. There might be a pen mark or something, but nothing horrible. Our zippers work well. And this one has a little bit of corner wear as well. But that's just normal and not really anything too bad. So I think this one's pretty nice. You cannot take the strap off on this one either, but it is adjustable and plenty long enough to wear as a crossbody. This one's a really nice size. Um, could certainly fit your sunglasses and you know all of your essentials in that one. So, so far I think we're doing okay. Um, we have another Kate Spade item. This is a larger tote. And it does need a clean up. There are some marks on the inside, um, but nothing too bad. This may even be able to be used as a diaper bag, possibly. Um, it has these hooks here. I don't know what you're supposed to attach that to. And then it has the, you know, just shoulder straps. Um, so there are some marks on the exterior and, you know, just some kind of snakes on the nylon. But it's, it's not horrible. So, the, you know, this would be a decent size for travel or um, using as a diaper bag. So maybe with the hooks, there's a way to put on a longer strap or something like that. Um, but there's nothing else included here. So I will have to do more research on that one. And our last item is a famous Rebecca Minkoff. Um, nice brown color. I don't think I've gotten this exact one before, but I did get another brown one in a similar style. There's quite a bit of wear on the strap, some discoloration, a piece of hair on it. But um, I think it's in a little bit better condition than the one I got before. The other one I got was suede, so it had a lot of marks on it. This one just kind of, it kind of blends in. It's got like a rustic look and it has a blue polka dot interior. The interior looks pretty good on it. And the zipper runs very smoothly. So this one, you can take off the strap. Um, it's not adjustable, but you can remove it if you wanted to do some other kind of strap. Um, there is some markings. But I would say it's not horrible. Um, you know, just maybe some color transfer. And then this is her signature thing with the clasp there. So if you close that, that's how it looks. So I think the tote, um, you know, is not the best. Um, you know, it's going to need some cleanup. So I don't think that's going to go for a ton. But I will do some research on it. Um, we have the Rebecca Minkoff. The brown Kate Spade and the black Kate Spade and then the Coach Compact Wallet. I don't think the box was horrible, but it's not going to be, um, you know, very much of a profit by the time you put the work into getting these cleaned up and listed. Um, there's not going to be a ton of meat on the bone, but I think it could be a lot worse. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.